Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the weekly astrology message for January 21st to January 28th, 2017 and I have my teacher here with me, Maurice Fernandez, evolutionary astrologer. We're both here at the Kepler conference in uh, Cocoa Beach, Florida. How are you Maurice? Thank you for joining me. Thank you Boaz. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, sunny winter morning in Florida on the beach. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. So we're here to talk about uh, this week in astrology. We have a few things happening. We have Venus uh, going into its shadow on uh, the 22nd degrees off Pisces, conjunct Chiron on the 23rd of January. Maurice, what's your wisdom regarding that? Well, Venus is moving into its shadow period, which means it will soon retrograde on March 5th. and the. The reason why it enters its shadow this week is because it reaches the degree where the retrograde will stop. So retrograde begins early March, March 5th, and then goes all the way back into uh, Pisces, from Aries to Pisces, until April 15th. So today is the degree that it will stop in April. This is what the shadow describes, and this this means it's an activation point where issues relating to both relationships and finances can be activated. Whether it's a change, a new relationship, uh, thoughts about managing your resources, things like that can surface. And just another note, uh, we know that. Um, we had the presidential inauguration in the United States, in the United States uh, yesterday on uh, January 20th and this reflects very much this Venus Chiron shadow period where the wounds between uh, the people, the, you know, the left and the right in the United States and females and males, women, women's issues are on the agenda with uh, many women marching today um, in protest for this inauguration. Thank you. So generally, we, we can say because Venus is connected to harmony and interconnectedness between people that, and it's conjunct Chiron, so we could feel that need for harmony or that lack of it. And uh, as Maurice uh, told me privately before, this is also happening with a square to Saturn, so there's a karmatic effect there as well. So it's a really important time for us to pay attention and a lot of care to our relationships and our income and make sure that things that begin during these days are as positive as possible because these, these same effects could rise up again at around April 15th, the same issues that are starting now. So. When Venus goes retrograde, one of the things is we can't just go about business as usual. The retrograde period changes uh, gears. So if we, if we were single, this may be a time where we meet someone new. If we are in a relationship, this can bring some doubts and reflections about where we're going with our relationship. So it's a bit of a test of integrity, a in test of strength. And as Boaz was mentioning, the Venus-Saturn square brings definitely uh, a question about what's right and is it strong enough and are we honest enough with ourselves. So these are hard questions, but the intent is of course to make better choices. Exactly. So Saturn is a lot about does it work? Does it work or doesn't it? No uh, bull there. It needs to be efficient, it needs to be uh, viable. And this goes into our income and work-related issues as well. So at your work area, you could have the same doubts or changes at this time of the retrograde. As, as a, a friend of mine was telling me yesterday, I'm not making enough money. I need to increase my income. So this is a time where these questions can come up like something's wrong with the way I make my money and maybe I'm working too hard for too little pay 
something needs to change. That's part of the Venus retrograde cycle. We'll move on and, and we'll go to the new moon that's happening in, uh, in Aquarius on the 27th of January. So we're having a new moon cycle. This, yeah. yeah, the new moon is at 8 degrees Aquarius and it happens the same day as Mars moves on the 0 degrees Aries, which is the first degree of the zodiac. So this is definitely a new start, both for the Mars and for the new moon factor. And we're moving from very introverted signs, Pisces and Capricorn, to very social and active signs. Extroverted. Extroverted signs of Aquarius and Aries. So the mood is changing and it's time to basically uh, get out of the house, even if it's winter, and socialize. Um, basically activate, take charge of our lives more, more um, actively. There's a feeling we cannot wait anymore. And remember that the sun is in Aquarius as well. This is a time in which we should initiate change and we shouldn't do it alone. We should take our part within our clan, within our group, and let our light shine forth within it. No waiting anymore. And um, remember that the days prior to the new moon are very important energetically. Whatever you filter during these days can stay with you during the next lunar cycle of 28.5 days. So make sure you're in the positive and don't give a lot of energy to the negativity in your life. And work, work within the group, work together, work for change, work for the betterment of humanity uh, and, and, and the clan. This is a lot of the themes that Aquarius touches. Well, and Aquarius brings also not just a social opening and a need to uh, be part of that tribe and that clan or simply go to a party, <laughs> but it also means um, you want to take your life forward. You want to improve your conditions. Aquarius is about progress. It's about the upgrade in your life. So it's enough of the same old, same old you want to really take charge. And with Mars in Aries, this can be a time where you get pissed, mm. where you are angry because you think, you feel that it's unfair. And so it's a time where you actually get on your feet and make things happen. So if we can use a mantra for this week yeah. and for the coming time is I am in charge of my destiny and I am going to do it with my tribe in a positive manner in a positive way yeah. to the next level to the higher level definitely because if we're not careful that aggression that Martian aggression could play out in our life either privately or collectively and and bring negative results instead uh, of positive change so channel that energy wisely Maurice, you're coming to Israel on, in March, so if any of you are in Israel in March, this would be a good time to catch Maurice for private sessions or uh, lectures that he's going to be given in workshops. Yeah, you can go to my website, www.mauricefernandez.com and see, you know, everything is listed there. And so of thank course, you. thank you. And of course, you'll be getting up. You, you'll be getting more updates from this conference, the Kepler Conference here in Florida, in Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral. Uh, later on, I'll be interviewing two of the uh, researchers here. And thank you for watching. This is Boaz Fader. I'm here with Maurice Fernandez. Have a beautiful week. Thank you, everyone. Make it happen. Amen. <laughs>